seconded that uh, the resolution that read will be received and adopted. Are you ready for the question? All in favor, let it be known by standing on your feet. That was the day that we started a bus protest which literally electrified the nation. And that was the day when we decided that we were not going to take segregated buses any longer. And you know, when we planned the bus boycott, we said if we could just get about 50 or 60 percent of the Negroes of Montgomery not to ride buses, this would be an effective boycott. I think that whole day we found eight Negroes on the buses. And from that day on, that boycott was more than 99 and 9 tenths percent effective. For several weeks now, we, the Negro citizens of Montgomery, have been involved in a non-violent protest against uh, the injustices which we have experienced on the buses for a number of years. We uh, feel that we are right, we have a legitimate uh, gripe, a legitimate protest, and we feel also that one of the great glories of American democracy is that we have the right to protest for right. We will do it in an orderly fashion, this is a non-violent protest. We are depending on moral and spiritual forces using the method of passive resistance. to say to the people. Finally, I tried to talk. My words were fumbling a bit. Let us fight passionately and unrelentingly for the goal of justice and peace. Let's be sure that our hands are clean in the struggle. Let us never fight with falsehood and violence and hate and malice, but always fight with love so that when the day comes that the walls of segregation is completely crumbled in Montgomery, we will be able to live with people as their brothers. It is true that 115 of us have been indicted by the grand jury Yet, our actions as of this day have not as yet been found to be illegal. The carpool and all we have done in this struggle continues. for justice. You do not struggle alone, but God struggles with you. Freedom is never given to anybody, for the oppressor has you in domination because he plans to keep you there and he never voluntarily gives it up. That is where the strong resistance comes. We've got to keep on keeping on in order to gain freedom. It is not done voluntarily. 
it is done through the pressure that comes about from people who are oppressed. Privileged classes never give up their privileges without strong resistance. The executive board of the Montgomery Improvement Association recommends that the 11-month-old protest against the city buses will be called off and that the Negro citizens of Montgomery, Alabama will return to the buses on a non-segregated basis. It is further recommended that this return to the buses will not take place until the mandate from the United States Supreme Court is turned over to the Federal District Court. We have the assurance from authentic sources that this mandate will come to Montgomery in a matter of just a few days. For those three or four days, we will continue to walk and share yeah. up. I hereby defy ruling handed down by the United States Supreme Court ordering desegregation of public carriers. Alabama state law requiring segregation of races on buses still stands. As long as I am president of the Alabama Public Service Commission, I am going to see that our segregation laws are upheld. I have this day issued orders to the chief of police and the police department 